All right, guys, David Dodge, the discount property investor, coming to you today to talk about how to find cash buyers in real estate. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also comment down below that you subscribed. Every month, we shout out one lucky person that has subscribed as well as commented, and I would love for that person to be you. So let's talk today about how we find cash buyers for our real estate deals. Well, there's lots of ways to find cash buyers. One of my favorite ways is going to your local real estate investment club that you can find on meetup.com. And these individuals want to be found. They are also going to these clubs because they want to learn more about real estate investing. They want to be around the people that are investing in real estate and they are there searching deals sometimes. So the best way to find cash buyers for your deals is to go to these real estate clubs. Now, if you are trying to find cash buyers in a market that you don't live in, or you are trying to find cash buyers in multiple markets, it may be difficult to get to all these RIAs. So there's lots of other ways to do it. Now, one of my favorite ways to find cash buyers is when I have a deal, okay, I already have a deal, and I market that property online. Let's say I put that property on Craigslist or I put that property on Facebook Marketplace or sometimes even Zillow. What I'll do is whenever that property sells, I won't mark it as sold right away. And the reason is, is because I don't believe in making fake ads. So instead, what I like to do is I leave my ads up for an additional week or two and sometimes maybe a little longer. But what happens is people will call me because they want to buy that deal. Again, this is one that I already had, I sold, and I already posted it for my marketing efforts, but somebody sees it. Well, when they call me, I'll say, oh, you know what? I haven't had a chance, and that's honestly the truth most of the time, I haven't had a chance to remove the ad. Thanks for calling that one sold. However, I am a wholesaler and I come across great deals all the time. What are you looking for? Are you looking for more deals like this one that you're referring to? Or are you looking for rentals in the north part of town? Are you looking for flips in the west part of town? Are you looking to joint venture? What are you looking for? Now I have somebody on the phone that is going to tell me exactly what kind of deal they want. They are a cash buyer. So by leaving those ads up for a couple extra days or even weeks, you can generate some of your best cash buyer leads for people that are actually looking to buy deals. They're trying to buy the one you had that you already sold. So that's probably one of my favorite approaches. So we talked about real estate clubs. We talked about leaving your classified posts or ads up even after a property has been sold. A couple other ways that I would recommend to find cash buyers is team up with a local real estate agent that uh, can pull recent cash buyer transactions out of their local MLS. If you don't have a real estate friend or buddy, or you just don't wanna to have to go ask somebody, you can sign up for a service that I also use called PropStream. And in this video below, we will leave a link for you to go to go check it out. This service will also, and you don't have to be a licensed real estate agent to get this data, but you can pull cash buyer transactions in your market or any market you want in the United States. They have the whole country. It's a pretty awesome service. So we often will find cash buyers via this service, PropStream, and we will send these individuals a postcard that says, hey, we see that you've recently purchased this house or that you are, are buying properties in the area recently. You know, we're investors. We often come across really, really good deals, just like the one you just bought, sometimes better, hopefully, better. If you're interested in getting on our buyers list, here is a link to our website. So the website is just a place for them to opt in. Another thing that we do is we have a lot of people that want to shop our deals to their buyers. Well, that's fine. No problem. But one thing that we do is we watermark all of our photos with our website. Therefore, if somebody takes my pictures 
and they try to go find a buyer without talking to me, which I wouldn't not recommend you do because it's unethical, but it happens. What happens is the people that they shop to just come to me because they see the watermark. Or another thing is, is they may see that deal on one of my classified ads that I left up, like we talked about, and it could be sold, but there's other deals on my website. So I'm just trying to drive as much traffic to my website as I possibly can. There's so many ways, guys. There's hundreds of ways. Another way is when I go to my real estate investment clubs, I bring two sets of business cards. One is the I'm Dave and I buy houses card, right? That's the house sold easy is my company. It's got a house sold easy logo, name, phone, email, all that good stuff. But that's not really telling somebody that I'm looking to buy their deal. So I also have another card that is my disposition company, Discount Property Investor. And I tell all the investors, for one, if they wanna buy a deal, come check out my site. But secondly, if they need help selling their deals, I might be a cash buyer or know a cash buyer that I can help connect everybody together and still get paid on. So there are so many ways to locate cash buyers in your area or even in another area, another market that you may wanna be doing deals virtually, so on and so forth. So go check out your real estate clubs. One of my favorite places to find cash buyers. Use PropStream to pull cash buyers nationwide. And again, we'll have a link in this video for you to get like a seven or even maybe 14 day free trial on that service. We love it and use it all the time. But again, we drive as much traffic to our website as possible and we do so by putting a watermark on our photos that then get uploaded to Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Facebook localized real estate groups. So like for instance, here in St. Louis, there's five or six decent sized groups of just real estate investors. We post in there with our watermark on there. And then we leave those posts up after those sell. Now we don't leave them up forever because we don't want to keep getting calls forever, but we typically just don't make a huge rush to pull them down. Some get pulled down a day or two after the, the property goes under contract. Some may stay up for a week or two, but those are magnets. Those are lead magnets for motivated cash buyers to seek you out. So there's lots and lots of ways to go about doing this. The main thing is, is there are cash buyers everywhere. So if you are having problems finding cash buyers, don't worry about it. Don't sweat. Just find your local real estate club or partner with another wholesaler in town and market his properties and point those back to your website, all right? Again, you just wanna drive some traffic back there. I would highly recommend you have some sort of a website to market your deals on, but more importantly than that, a place to capture people's data. So whenever somebody goes to my website that hasn't been there before, we'll typically ask for a name and an email and if they're interested in getting deals from us. And if not, no problem, they can opt out there or they can opt out of the emails later, but we typically try to capture that information. Also, when we have a deal and we send it out to our buyers, our list of buyers, they often forward that email to other people, their partners and their buyers. So everything kind of trickles down. But the thing here is, is that cash buyers are everywhere. If you don't have any cash buyers, you're probably not looking in the right place. You need to partner with more people to get more exposure to your website and draw traffic that way. And you also need to start attending more real estate clubs because all the rehabbers, the flippers, the landlords, the wholesalers, the hard money lenders, they are going to these events. So you need to be there as well because they may have, a, have some money to buy one of your deals or the tables can turn. You may go there trying to sell a deal and they may have a deal for you that you can buy. So these groups are just absolutely phenomenal. I highly recommend them. The, another way to go about it would be to build a website and market that site. Get some business cards that say you're a wholesaler and that you have deals, hand those out to the cash buyers, network, network, network. The thing I want you to take away from this video is that cash buyers are absolutely everywhere. And if you are having trouble finding them, you're just not looking in the right place or doing the right things. Keep it simple. Start with those clubs. Next, get yourself a simple website and then start marketing 
other people's properties with their permission, joint venture with them, partner with them, and that will help drive that traffic back to your site so then you can start capturing information. A lot of people think I need to have thousands of buyers on my list. Like right now, my buyers list personally has over 3,000 people on it. However, some of my best friends and biggest competitors in the St. Louis market have less than 30 buyers on their list. The size of your buyers list is not as important as the quality of the data on that list. If you only are doing a deal or two a year, you may only need one or two buyers or three or five. You don't need hundreds. You don't need thousands. So I recommend to find the buyers first. Start there and figure out what they want to buy. And then if you are doing wholesaling and you're trying to locate deals for those cash buyers, spend your time marketing and or your efforts calling the areas or the types of properties that those buyers want. Don't work harder than you have to. If you have a couple cash buyers that you met at a real estate club and they say they only want three zip codes in your county, well then don't spend time marketing or cold calling people outside of those zip codes. Make it easy for you. Cash buyers are everywhere. Don't overthink the fact that they're hard to find. Go to your clubs, build a website, draw some traffic. It is in fact easy.